cracking a cold one on a Monday night. Going to talk some rat roll. Uh, tad bit distracted. We got cats present. Rocky's running around here. He's, uh, you know, he heard I was going to talk about rats, so he got real curious. No, the band. Not an actual rat. Settle down. All right? Take it easy. All right. You know my cats. I always got to get it in the act. Actually, it's been quite a while since I got it in the act. Anyways. Wow. Um, been a while since I talked about them. Rat, that is. <laughs> not, not my cats. Uh, <laughs> we've had quite the bit of news over the course of the last uh, few months. Last time I was talking about this was... Uh, November, like late November, and since then, um, we've had a lot of stuff. So let's just rewind a little bit, uh, shall we? We, uh, hey, what are you doing? Behave yourself. Um, oh, these cats are going to be the death of me, I swear to God. So at the time, um... Bobby Blotzer was trying to sue for the rights of the name Rat, and he lost, and he also got his boot officially, he was completely ousted from the band officially, so that when, you know, when he goes out and promotes himself, he can only call himself a former member of Rat, okay? Then... Uh, soon thereafter, it was reported that he was going to try to, uh, he was trying to appeal it, or wh whatever the verbiage was, there was so much technical stuff, I didn't quite understand all of it, but to sum it up, he was trying to get the judge to change his mind, basically, which... I don't, I don't know what you call that in the court of law. Is that, is that called a mulligan? I'm not sure, but I I think fans hearing that found it to be uh, slightly ridiculous, to say the least. Um, so the reveal of this decision date was to be January 23rd. Now we skip ahead a while, and in the meantime, over Christmas vacation, Rat had their last few dates at the end of 2016. Then, then we hear about a concert that basically had The concert venue had an issue, I'm assuming they had maybe something to the effect of like a cease and desist issue with Bobby Blotzer's rat. And so they wouldn't perform. Basically they would allow Bobby to perform, but they couldn't use like a backdrop or whatever. You know, I'm assuming there were details that weren't all privy to the public, but I'm assuming that was part of it, you know. Don't call yourself rat, just go out there and play. Bobby Blotzer, you know, wouldn't suck up his pride and just go out there and please the fans. He canceled it. He wouldn't go out. So, then, uh, let's see here. At the beginning of the year, in January, uh, Piercy and Demartini and Crucier started actually using the rat logo again. And they started making dates. And a lot of dates. I'll get to those dates in a second. I'm not going to talk about all the dates, but I'm just going to say the revitalized rat with Stephen Piercy and the boys are going to have a busy year ahead of them. 
uh, well, at least Stephen Pierce is. R Rat has, like, okay, I'll just say it. Rat's got, like, eight, eight or nine dates lined up. If you go to, uh, what is this, stephenpiercy.com or stephen piercy.com. Um, Stephen Piercy has, he's got like 10 or 11 dates, and Rat's got like just less than 10, something like that. I'm not going to go through all these dates, but they've got dates from March until August between Stephen Piercy's solo band and Rat lined up. Rat just did their first official first date live back uh, I believe you say now it was last week between a week week and a half ago um, February and I was in Minnesota at a casino place and that concert footage you can find all that concert footage on YouTube I think it's decent I think Okay, Stephen Piercy over the last, say, 10 to 15 years has not sounded very, <laughs> very 80s anymore, okay? He doesn't sound the way he does anymore, and that has upset a lot of fans. Okay, <laughs> you look at any singer from back then, Vince Neil, Don Dokken, um... Mike Tramp, almost any singer that is still touring that had a pristine voice back in the 80s does not have that voice anymore. Very few sound that good anymore. Uh, Jack Russell still sounds very good in my opinion. Um, the Stephen Piercy solo CD does sound very good. Um, I plan on doing a review for that sometime in the near future. I listened to the whole thing all the way through. I was happy with it. I just didn't take any notes on it. And, uh, you know, to give it a, a respectable review. Rocky, behave yourself. Darn cat. That darn cat. Um, to give it a respectable review, uh, I'll do that at a later date. Um, another singer off the top of my head that still sounds like a million bucks. Uh, God, I'm tired. I can't think of the guy's name. Uh, Billy from um, it's one of my favorite bands. Jesus Christ, uh, Steelheart. Okay, um, he still sounds frigging amazing. So yeah, people complain about Stephen Piercy sounding not as good as he used to. When he wants to, he sings pretty decent, and it's it, it's important for Rat to s play the songs that he can sing well. He's not going to sing up there anymore. He can't. You know, that's what he's got the backup guys for to harmonize with, especially guys like Juan Crucier. Thank God Juan's back with Rat. Holy cow, what a breath of fresh air as far as singing harmonies and backup vocals. Great stuff. Um, so yeah, go check out the YouTube songs from the Minnesota date. It was like February 11th or 12th, whatever it was, uh, right before Valentine's Day. And you know what? From what I've read and heard in interviews, Piercy's sober now, okay? when you quit drinking and you start taking care of yourself your voice changes so let's you know I'm giving him a chance I've always loved him as a singer yeah yeah has he sounded better before of course and do they do stuff in the studio that probably make him sound a little better you know maybe they did something on infestation I don't know 
Uh, but I like the new solo stuff. The new live stuff sounds decent. When they did that uh, date it back in October, um, for the, the they did the surprise appearance at the Monsters of Rock cruise, and they showed up, and Eddie Trunk did a bunch of footage. That stuff sounded good. The fans were happy. Um, but let's skip ahead now. Um, back to the current. So I said, yeah, the Minnesota date from a few, uh, you know, from days ago, in my opinion, I think sounded good. They've got a new drummer, of course, and, um, this, <laughs> look at the shadow in the background, yes, that's my cat, um, being a little shit. Jimmy DeGrasso is the new drummer. He was on the secret date on the cruise. You, Rocky. Oh my God. I love my cats. Sorry. Um, he was on. He was the drummer on the secret date on the Monsters of Rock cruise date back in October. He was. Also there, days ago, for their first official rat date this year. And from the footage I saw, he sounded great. DeGrasso's a well-oiled machine as far as it comes to drumming. He's been in several bands before. It has played well in all of them. Even having the chops to play in a band like Megadeth. If you can play in Megadeth, you're set. That's just my opinion. Um, you know. Um, so yeah, Jimmy DeGrasso has probably got the job as far as I know. I haven't heard anything official. They called him the new guy in Minnesota. Um, we'll have to see where it goes from there. So yeah, they've got books, they've got dates booked from uh, March now until August. Now, back to Bobby's band. Found out something very interesting. Um, they were... Uh, Blotzer was trying to get the judge to overturn everything, and the date was set for January 23rd. When that date came and went, um, it came out that... <laughs> um, the judge did not overturn it. So Blotzer lost, okay? What we didn't know until literally days ago, within this last week, like 14th or 15th, that the official news came out, is that on that day, Josh Allen, Joshua Allen, lead singer of Bobby Blotzer's Rat resigned as lead singer. Um, that, in my opinion, is probably the nail in the coffin. The news that came out a couple days ago now, uh, Juan Crucier advised that uh, Stephen Piercy's Rat will soon be getting the official Rat Facebook page going. I don't know if they're going to get the current one that Bobby has. That would be a little awkward. Or if they're just going to start a new one. We'll have to see. Um, but nonetheless, they're going to get an official Rat page going. The social media things, you know, it's been baby steps. It's like, okay, let's get some dates going here. 
uh, starting to take care of some social media things, getting the the web page up and going. Um, so yeah, all these things are coming into play. A lot of Bobby's fans that were supporting his rat are starting to turn on him. And uh, if you don't believe me, go look at his Facebook posts on the rat page and uh, just go look for yourself, okay? The evidence is there. There are a few people that are sticking by him. He has not posted anything about Joshua Allen leaving the band yet. He still has his picture up on up in the group photo on all the social media formats. Um, I I would have to think he's done. You know, if you go look at Blotzer's Rat website, they have one concert date coming up in March like a month from just less than a month from now what does that tell you Stephen Piercy and the boys got dates lined up three quarters of the way through the year through the summer um, the writings on the wall rats the rat that we grew up to love is back okay and hopefully the the dust <laughs> proverbial dust is uh, pretty much settled now uh, I don't know how much more Bobby Blotz is gonna shoot his mouth off it's just um, embarrassing now <laughs> very embarrassing so um, I'm excited because uh, rats got dates all over the country. Hopefully, more will be made. They do have one in Wisconsin, but it's way up in BFE. Um, hopefully, we can find one closer. Had I planned ahead a little more, um, well, I probably wouldn't have been able to make the drive. My back is still not very good. Um, it's doing better than it was a month ago, but, you know, driving still sucks, so. <laughs> uh, would I have liked to drive from southeastern Wisconsin where I'm at to Minnesota for this last date? Oh, hell yeah, I would have. But <clears throat> that's not, that was not in the cards. So, uh, what do you folks think about this? I'm... I'm pleased as punch what can I say uh, my boys are back like I said in the last video but now it's even more good news things are moving forward uh, Stephen Piercy's new solo album is out and from what it sounds like his guitarist is even working on this the next one and uh, Stephen Piercy is even working with Warren uh, new new rat songs so but who knows when that's gonna be out there's no presumed date on any of that um, he's just mentioned it in a few recent interviews stating that it's happening and they're gonna take their time with it and they're gonna make something even better than infestation Hey, I loved Infestation. I thought it was an incredible CD. Um, he thinks that they can even do a lot better than that. So we'll see. Let's uh, let's all hope that uh, we get that, and it sounds even more brilliant, like he said in that one interview, than Infestation. And that's about it for the Rat News. Um, Rats back kicking tons of ass in 2017, and Blotzer's band doesn't even have a lead singer anymore. 
Oh, but they have platinum albums. Thanks, Bobby. That, that was a lovely gesture of you. Uh, till the next time, uh, cheers. We'll see you down the road. And um, keep on rat and rolling, folks.